Number 12, state which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. Okay, so we got to write a chemical equation and just say whether H2O is amphiprotic. Now, I just want to say that amphiprotic is the same thing as amphoteric. So your teacher or professor might say amphoteric, but the textbook says amphiprotic. They are both the same thing. And what this means is that whatever molecule or ion you're talking about, an amphiprotic or an amphoteric species can act as either an acid and a base. Just depends on the certain situation. Now, if you are an acid, right, you have to lose one hydrogen, or maybe I'll just put it as an H+, because that's essentially what you're losing. So you have to have H's to, you know, lose. In water, I have a total of two hydrogens, so one of them could go. So in this case, we have a check for this. It definitely can act as an acid. Now for the base part, bases are the ones that are going to gain the hydrogens. So how do I know that this is the case? Well, this is where you look at the charge. Now in general, if you see a negative in the upper right hand corner, so we'll say negative ions, those would indicate bases. However, some of them not so much. Also, neutral molecules can uh, act as bases as well. So we're looking for negative ions or neutral molecules. The neutral molecules, however, those are tricky because if you're a polyatomic, that falls through. But in this case, it's just water, right? If I kind of drew out the Lewis structure for water, we should know what you know the Lewis structure for water is. It's this, right? Oxygen has two lone pairs and one hydrogen, right? Technically, it has a lone pair to accept a hydrogen, right? So that's totally doable. So it can act as a base. So both of these are checks. Now we know that water is amphiprotic or amphoteric. Now we just got to write equations. So here we go. Um, let's see. So I'm going to do kind of these at the same time, but then I'm going to break along the way. So I have H2O and H2O. One H2O is going to act as an acid, and the other H2O has to act as a base, right? That shows the ampho, amphiprotic nature of it. And remember, when you're reacting with acids and bases, if you have an acid, you can't react another acid with it. It has to be a base. And then likewise, if H2O is acting as a base, I have to react an acid with it. Now, this is where it gets, you know, crazy because, you know, we could have many different answers here. I could pick a lot of different bases. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to try to pick a base that can't exist as an acid, which means that it can't, doesn't have any hydrogens. So I'm just going to pick a base that I know that doesn't have any hydrogens. A couple of examples would be CN minus, no hydrogens here, and it has a negative charge. Um, maybe S2 minus, that's also a base. Um, let's see. I think that's good for now. Those are like two that are popping into my head at once. Maybe I'll pick CN minus. Okay. And then now I just have to pick a acid that's never going to act as a base. These are your six strong acids that we should know and love. We should memorize them. It's just going to make this chapter much easier. So I'm just going to say HCl. Could have been HBr. Could have been HI. Doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to make that yield sign. And now this is where I'm kind of going to kind of break. Now I'm just going to focus on the top. Now H2O, if it's an acid. Oh, my God, somebody <laughs> scared me, the noise. Somebody just started doing their lawn outside. Okay, anyway, I don't know if you hear that, but 
Now we have to learn with distractions. But anyway, H2O. Here we go. Actually, I'll make this a little bit lower. Okay. Now H2O, if it's an acid, remember, an acid will always turn into its conjugate base. Right? Because remember, acids always will lose a hydrogen. And by doing that, it becomes its base. On the flip side, the base will turn into its conjugate acid because it will gain the hydrogen that the acid lost. All right. Now we just have to find out what these are. Well, acid to base, you lose one hydrogen. So I had two hydrogen in H2O. So I drop one of them. So now it would just be H. O, but we don't really write that in chem. We bring the H on the other side, and now it's OH. And that's always the conjugate base if water was acting as an acid. Now we just have to adjust the charge. Since you lost one hydrogen, you got to subtract one from the original charge. There was nothing here, so 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 is a negative 1, or you could just put a negative. And now the base will turn into its conjugate acid. Bases will always gain the hydrogen. So I just stick a hydrogen right in front. It would now be HCN. Whoop, I'll do that in black. There we go. And then just adjust the charge. You always got a plus one. So it was a negative one. So negative one plus one. Negative one plus one is neutral. So there's that equation. Now we just have to do the other equation, but it's basically the same exact thing. This base will now turn into the conjugate acid. Okie dokie. Whoop. And then HCl, since it's being the acid, this will turn into its conjugate base. Bases always gain a hydrogen. So it wouldn't be H2, it's now H3O. And then just correct for the charge. It was a zero, you gained a hydrogen, so you plus one. So zero plus one is just a plus one, or you could just put a plus. And then do the same thing for the HCl. So HCl was an acid. Acids always lose one hydrogen, so you gotta subtract one. So just get rid of that H in the front. So it would just be Cl. There was a zero charge. So zero minus one is a negative. And that's it. These are the two equations that go with H2O being an amphiprotic or an amphoteric species. And that's it. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is, you know, this makes sense. Um, thank you so much for viewing the video. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this, you know, YouTube channel exists. We really would love to help them out, too. Uh, we also got physics and math videos on the channel, so go check it out. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.